Hello, welcome to another Soul Print Mini. Thank you so much for being here. Um, to my viewers, to my scribe, subscribers, I really do appreciate all of your support of this channel. So thank you very much. Today I want to do a mini. It's another mini. Um, but I want to look at the U.S. in November, right? There's a lot going on right now. I mean, we've got the Trump family kind of scheduled to uh, be giving their testimony in New York City. You have... Um, a budget that somehow needs to get passed. You have a new House Speaker that's trying to flap his wings and, you know, make his mark. Um, so I thought it would just, you've got um, the Judiciary Committee, I believe it is, who are now, who's now subpoenaing um, billionaire donors that have been giving money and presents and gifts to the um to the justices, particularly uh, Thomas and Alito. Um, so I thought it would be a good idea to just kind of take a look and see if we can get a flavor for the month of November. If it feels like I, I'm going to want to do a full-on reading, I'll do that for next week. But I think for right now, I just want to get a quick peek and see if we can figure out what November might be bringing um, the U.S., of course, you have Thanksgiving coming up later on in the month, and that sort of always sets the tone, I guess, for the beginning of the Christmas holiday season. Um, so there's that. Let's take a look, shall we? Um, USA... November energies, USA, November energies, USA, November energies. Oh, my God. Did you see they did a clip like the other day? Trump was at some rally and he just figured out that the words U.S. make the word us. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Here we go. Okay, so we're starting off with the Queen of Swords, the Page of Swords, the Ten of Swords, and the Magician. All right, so let's look at the Queen of Swords and the Page of Swords. Okay, this is about legal matters. Um, so this, I'm thinking, is really pertaining to uh, the Trump family having to testify. Um, you know, they can they can do the whole, I don't remember, or I plead the fifth, but don't forget in a civil case when they plead the fifth, the judge jury is allowed to, um, you know, put a connotation on that, that they're trying to protect themselves from something they've done wrong. So, you know, saying the fifth 500 times, which I think Eric did in, in the deposition, Trump was right behind him at 450, that's not going to fly so well. So that's going on. Um, and while that's going on, it, it you know, because it's followed by the Ten of Swords, it makes one wonder um, if in some ways their testimony or their behavior around the testimony doesn't end up making things considerably worse than they are now. Of course, that's kind of a, a typical Trump thing, right? As soon as they open their mouth, um, there's a bigger problem than there was. So that's going on. Now, the magician is interesting because it's followed by the tower. All right. So, again, this is about um, things, you know, it, it, this is th what this feels like is this is about finding out things that are a little bit under the table, a little bit um, shady, etc., and that creating a tower moment. I'm just not understanding right now. Can I get some clarity, please? I don't know what this pertains to. They're showing me the Supreme Court. So one has to wonder if yet there isn't more information coming out about one of the justices. But definitely as there is this push to... Um, you know, really get some accountability going. It looks like the Supreme Court is um, going to be in for a little bit of a shakeup, uh, I guess, between now and the end of the year. All right, so we've got the Five of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. This is talking about the, the um, 
the house, okay? Um, this is about trying to get that budget passed. This is about trying to strip money from where money needs to go, okay? Um, the Ukraine. Apparently, they're okay with... with um, financing Israel, but they're not okay with sending money to Ukraine, I guess, because a lot of them are really pro-Russia. But the King of Pentacles here is, you know, one of my cards for Trump. And so it feels like he's going to be having a lot of input into what he wants done or not done in the house. Um, and, you know, like lemmings, these guys just follow whatever he says. I don't get the feeling that, um, Mike Johnson is going to, I think I got this card for him the last time I read on him, this, this king of, uh, sort of this um, uh, knight of cups, this sort of romanticized version of how amazing he can be and the things he can get done and accomplished. I'm not so sure. Um, all right, so we've got the Ten of Pentacles here and we've got the Seven of Pentacles. So this has something to do with getting that budget passed. Um where we're going there feels like, um, I'm not, you know, it feels like this is exactly what I said like last month or the month before. Um, they're going to work something out kind of in the nick of time. They may end up shutting down for a very couple of days, but I, I honestly, I don't even see that happening. If I'm not mistaken and I, I'm not, I always get the, the U.S. Thanksgiving screwed up, but the 17th is somewhere around that Thanksgiving period. And I think even in their kind of twisted mentality, they should be able to understand that shutting down the government and, you know, causing um, those services, those paychecks, et cetera, to not go out right before Thanksgiving is probably not a good look. So it feels very much like somehow there's going to be this sort of ride to rescue. But when that happens, good old Mike Johnson is going to face some harsh, harsh judgment, and there's going to be infighting within the house. So, so, so far we have the Trump family sabotaging themselves. We have the House of Representatives um, creating another internal war, and we have emotions running kind of high. And, you know, um, listen, this is the thing, right? I know we are all just tired of this, right? We just are. Um, and I think these cards are trying to tell you, trying to reassure you that even though things seem very chaotic and very crazy and a little bit out of control, um, as you get closer and closer to the end of the year, things are going to start to sort of stabilize maybe You're going to be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel um it feels very much like first of all um i not sure but i would expect sometimes in um november there to be a, a, a judgment based on the new york city trust and this is the thing like he was found guilty of um continuous fraud but there's like five other charges it's like defrauding the insurance companies defrauding the banks defrauding right there's other um charges that have yet to be decided now we're going to pretty much look like he, he did all of them um and then from there you're looking at the the penalty you know the the money how much is he going to have to pay so it, but it does feel like that's going to wrap up towards the end of November. And honestly, it feels like that exposure is going to be very, very difficult for um, sort of Trump to recover from. It, it feels like it's just going to be too much. So don't be at all surprised if he is not um, continuing to be, um, you know, sounding a little deranged and behaving more radically than kind of we're used to, which is a lot. Um, but it feels like there's going to be some real um, difficult energy around um, around Trump and the Trump family. Um, of course, he's going to appeal everything, um, but I don't know. 
that ultimately that's going to, um, you know, save him, right? I mean, this is a, a documents case. So they have the proof in paperwork. Um, and so I don't quite understand how they think they're going to somehow get, um, a, you know, a reversal on this or they somehow are going to be able to take it all the way up to higher court. I think that that is their intention and expectation. I just don't see it working working very well. And I think ultimately you're going to see um, that the Trump businesses, et cetera, are um, slowly but surely removed from uh, New York. So, you know, and that includes Mar-a-Lago, right? Because Mar-a-Lago apparently is owned by an LLC that's registered in New York. And so... Um, this is going to be quite devastating for the Trump family when it goes forward and when the licenses are pulled. So um, they have to stop doing business and things have to get liquidated. But it definitely looks like um, that's going to be going on somewhere in November or maybe into December. But there's going to be some 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 actions taken, some closure, that kind of thing. Interestingly, we have the Hermit and Justice side by side. So the Hermit, I'm actually reading this as, you know, paranoia, people being scared and kind of in control, um, not taking the time to be insightful, to be self-reflective, and that justice is coming. And so whether this represents the House Republicans, whether this represents Trump, or something that we're not even sure of or aware of at this point, it definitely feels like justice is starting to step up and um, move things along in a way to create a better balance. This is where we're at right now, right? Um, the Two of Pentacles. So you're looking at this sense of, you know, trying to juggle all of these things, particularly assets that are going on within the United States. So whether that is budgetary assets, whether that is Trump assets, whether that is funding for um, Israel and Ukraine, but there is this sort of balancing act that they're trying to um, like accomplish. And it feels very much like it's going to be a bit of an uphill hill battle. I don't see the um, Republicans in the House getting very, very far. I think that whatever they do, unless it is really in line with... Um, something the Senate can agree to. I, I don't really see that, you know, going very far. Ultimately, it very much feels like the government itself is going to stay strong and functioning. As I said, if there is a shutdown, it is really, really short. Definitely feels more like um, it, they take it right up to the wire. And then there's this mad rush, exactly like the last time, um, to get everything pushed through before, you know, the clock strikes, strikes 12. Um, there's going to be some things that, that um, neither side are going to be happy with. Okay, so um, it's possible that the funding may be less than. Um, it may be there might be an increase in an area like border security or something like that. Um, I'm not sure it, you know, I guess it's possible that some of these things get broken down into separate bills. Um, but my understanding is right now the White House is saying, no, they all have to be together. Um, so we'll see how that sort of unfolds. But when it comes right down to it, there are a lot of areas, I'm going to say, um, that really are going to experience um, some endings, some it's not closure, it's an ending. So whether that is the legal cases, whether that is Mike Johnson's reign as House Speaker, I think I think he'll he'll make it at least till the end of the year, possibly early into next year, but I don't think it's gonna be there much longer. But there's definitely uh, the energy of of really things just coming to close in some areas. Also, people are getting really, really tired. Uh, these perpetual threats to shut down the government because these people want specific things um, and or don't want specific things. It's it's become 
sort of that one trick pony, right? I mean, that's what Trump is, right? A one trick pony. But it feels like the Republicans are starting to feel that way too, because whenever they don't know what else to do, they, they gum up the work so that they're going to shut down the government. It's getting old and people I think are getting a little fed up with it. Um, don't lose all hope, though, because it actually looks like there's going to be some good news, some fortunate news coming forward. And, you know, whether that is um, on some of the topics that I've already covered or it's something new, but, you know, all is not lost. OK, so um, let's go into November expecting I think probably the first couple of weeks may be the most volatile uh, because that's where there's going to be a fair degree of focus on the Trumps and on the budget. Um, it feels sort of like towards the end of the month. Um, that's where I'm getting kind of the feeling of um, decisions coming down um, and things that um, Certainly for the Trump family, it feels like there could be some sort of an explosion or implosion. Um, but there's definitely sort of some very um, the energy towards the end of the month feels abrupt, I guess, is the way I want to say, like things happening very suddenly and very quickly. I'm not picking up, you know, terrorist activity. I'm not picking up anything like that as much as existing situations kind of coming to a close um, or or being completed, as, you know, so they can move forward to the next phase. Um, so that's what I'm kind of getting for November. It definitely feels like the budget is going to go through. Um, it's going to be, you know, a delay, but that that always happens. But ultimately, I think when you look back, it's going to very much feel like the month of November had more to do with the law. It had to do with uh, court cases and testimony. It had to do with the functioning of the government. Um, it, it, that kind of energy feels like what I am seeing for November, USA, 2024, 2023. Sorry, I'm jumping the gun here. Thank you very, very much for being here. It's just a little longer than a typical mini, but um, bear with me. All right, so I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget, questions for Pendulum Friday. Please put them in the comment section below so the amazing Joyce can gather them up and get them to me. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.